Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys um, how I um, solve these centers on the four x four. Um, there's actually two ways to do this. Um, I'm gonna be demonstrating both in this video. Now, um, before you even start cracking at a four x four, you really need to make sure you know how to solve a three x three. Otherwise, you're gonna be like lost, like very lost. So again, um, make sure you know how to solve a three x three before you even start attempting at the four x four. And um, I'll, let's just do a quick um, comparison right here between three by three and the four by four. Um, a three by three, our center is our center is comprised of just one little cubie, and it's fixed into place. So no matter where you turn it, um, it'll always be in the same spot. However, let's look on the four by four. Our centers are comprised of four cubies, and these are not fixed into place, meaning these can go all the way all around the, uh, the cube. So that is one little uh, caveat with the uh, four x four that is that we don't get on three x three. So um, and also what that means is we have to know our color scheme, otherwise we will not be able to solve the cube. So um, let's just go and look at the three x three real quick. Now this is the this is the color scheme for pretty much any cube. Um, white is always opposite yellow, blue is always opposite green, and red is always opposite orange. And that's that's what we have on this cube. So, which again, that's the same for pretty much any cube. So, um, again, we have to know that, otherwise we won't be able to solve the cube. And if you forget that, just have a 3x3 three by, three by your side, and that'll help you out. Even if you have, like, a mixed up 3x3, three three, it doesn't really matter because the centers are fixed in place. So let's um, put that aside for now. So the first center um, I always like to construct is the white. Now, it doesn't matter where it is because you're first starting off. So um, for the first two centers, I'm going to be showing you... Um, constructing two two by ones and then putting them together that's one way to do it so i can see i have a white right here and a white right here so let's just put these two together to form our two by one so we're gonna do this let's just position them to where when i rotate this up it'll form right there so we have one now let's build, build another one with our last two here's one and here's the here's the last one so let's just bring these two together and i'll bring these together give the top layer a spin Bring these layers up. And that quickly, you already got one center. And again, I apologize if I'm doing, going too quickly. So now let's just take a look at the 3x3. Three three. So we have contractor of white. Now let's look at the opposite color. Yellow. So, let's take our white. Flip over the cube. This is where yellow is going to be. And look at it. We already have one in place. So, um, let's see. Okay, here's a yellow center right here. Now there's something that... Now there's a tricky thing about... Um, building the yellow center is that we have to construct our yellow center while maintaining our white because as you can see if we turn this so like say if like we're making a two by one as you can see our white gets broken so um that's one little caveat with building the yellow center and also we also have to do that again uh later and i apologize for this right here uh just missing tile anyways so um let's just go ahead and create this two by one right here so again let's just bring this up but as you can see, again, we messed up our white. So what we have to do is rotate this top layer so there's nothing here. It's just this garbage right here. And we want to save this right here. So then we can bring these layers back down to fix our white and keep this 2 by one So now let's... Oh, look at that. We already have our 2 by one So to um, put, these to get, put this together, we can't just go like this because then again, our white gets messed up. And there's no garbage to replace it. So let's bring that, bring that out. So the way we do this is we give this top layer two spins, bring these layers up, give the top two more spins, bring us down. So we've made our yellow and we kept the white. So now let's just do one of these middle layer colors. I always like to do blue or green because then um, when we're down to the red and orange, there's something that we have to memorize and the only way we memorize it is when I have red and orange left. So as you can see right here, we already have a, a two by one. So now what I'm gonna be doing is showing you um, getting three cubies and then having one left and inserting it in. So let's find, here we go. Um, they're actually right on the same face but they're diagonally from each other. So um, to put this in here, um, you don't have to worry about fixing anything because our white and yellow are not in this layer they're in this layer so let's just um put this blue center up here 
So we have um, two cubies right here, and then one up here in the top right. So now we have our one left right here. So um, the way we insert this last one in is you want to position this to where we have the two right here, and then one up here in the top right, and then position this towards in the top left. Now, if we were to be down on the bottom, you would just do the same thing. Put this up here. And then this like that, and you just give two spins instead of one, which is what we were just about, to, which is what we're about to do. So to do this, let's just so to do this. Make sure that they're in their correct positions. Bring this up, spin the top, and bring this down. So now we have our white, blue, yellow. So let's just grab it three by three. We just made the blue, the opposite of blue, green. So so here's blue. Flip over the cube, green. Now the way to construct the green center is, I, is going to be I pretty much the same exact how way we made the yellow, which was keeping the white. So while we're going to be building the green, we're going to be keeping the blue. So let's look for one right here. So we're going to make the two by one right here. There we go. So look at it. Messed up our blue. We'll move up to the side because this is garbage right here. We're gonna fix the blue. So now we, uh, so we actually got lucky here. I was gonna show you the, the three way again, but we already have a two by one, so I'm just gonna do the two by one method. So, um, now we're back to the yellow to put these two together. Can't do this, it messes up the blue. So, just remember from building the yellow, or take them so they're on top of each other like this. Bring this up, give this two spins, and bring it down. So now we have white, yellow, green, blue. So when you're down to your last two centers, which should be red and orange, um, you want to hold the cube to where your blue center is facing you and your yellow center is facing upwards. Because it's something you have to memorize. Because if you do this wrong, you're gonna have to do the, you're gonna have to do it again. You're, you're gonna have to go back. So um, yep, let's get that off. <laughs> so um. So again, hold the cube in this position. Blue is facing you, yellow is up. Now you have to memorize this rule. When you're holding the blue towards you and the yellow is up, your red center must be on the right side and your orange center must be on the left side. If it's the other way around, you won't be able to solve the cube later. So um, as you can see here, we already have the three up here, which is identical on the orange. So all we have to do is just put the Last little cube you in. So, um, back, remember to where we were inserting this last one into the three. Position this so that we have the two on the left and then the one up here on top. Put this in the top left. And again, this time it's on the bottom. So we're gonna give this two spins. Move this top to the side. Two more spins. And there you go. All of your centers are done. So, um, Let's just do a quick uh, check right here. Let's go over to the white. Get three by three. White is opposite yellow. Blue is opposite green. And there we go. Orange is opposite red. And there you go. Your centers are completed. So, um, we get, yep, once your centers are completed, which they should be, you can now move on to edge pairing which is probably the most time-consuming part of the 4x4. Um, that will be featured in another video. Um, so, um, thank, you, thank you for watching. I really hope this video helped you out. And uh, make sure to stay tuned for our future videos. Thanks for watching.